Simon from Australia. Been a lurker for years. Don't agree with everything you say, but I respect it. My question is, what does Triple H do during the Alliance storyline if he does not get injured? Yes, one of the great what-if questions in wrestling history. Triple H missed that whole period when he tore his quad the first time. He missed that wonderful invasion period. How convenient for him. Uh, it was pretty clear if you were watching the product at that time, before he got hurt, that they were about to split the two-man power trip, or at least they were they were really starting to build already to the split. Maybe it wasn't going to happen right away. But they were building to the split between Austin and Triple H after what happened at the Judgment Day pay-per-view. And then they lost the tag team titles the next night on Raw, one of the greatest matches in Raw history that will never, ever be talked about again. Austin inadvertently cost Triple H the IC title to Kane in a chain match the night before. And then when Triple H came out during the main event on that same pay-per-view, yeah, you might think, okay, well, he's going to cost Austin the title because Austin was defending against The Undertaker and he helped Austin retain the title. Then the next night, Triple H inadvertently hits Austin with a sledgehammer, which cost them the tag team titles. So you would think that that would make them even, but I think Austin, even though he did the same thing to Triple H the night before, you know, where he, he cost him the match, I think he, he would have flipped his shit and it would have led to the end of their alliance. The only question is, would that have been your SummerSlam main event that year? Or would they have held that match off for WrestleMania 18? Because remember, the original plan was they were going to run WCW as its own separate show. They had plans already drawn up. They had contacted buildings to book venues. They were putting a schedule together. Okay, They were going to give Monday Night Raw, as unbelievable as it sounds, the plan was to give Monday Night Raw to WCW. And, and SmackDown would be the WWF show. Okay, That's why they did that test match on Raw with Booker T and Buff Bagwell. They even used Scott Hudson and Arn Anderson as the announce team. That whole segment was WCW. They had a WCW referee, announcers, I think ring announcer. The logo was in the corner of the screen. That was a dry run. That was a test. There's not a chance that Vince would have given Raw, though, to WCW without including some of his top WWF names on that roster. And so I wonder if Triple H would have been one of those names, he, if he would have been the top babyface on WCW Monday Nitro. That way, you send Triple H to WCW to keep him away from Austin for a while, right? You separate them. You make Triple H the WCW champion. Those WCW plans, I mean, they ended up going to shit. So if Triple H never tore his quad and they ended up doing the invasion, if they had not broken up yet, maybe they would have kept Austin and Triple H together a little longer, have Triple H win the WCW title there. And so that way he and Austin each have a belt, but Triple H ends up being revealed as the mole. He ends up being the WWF mole, which is the role that Kurt Angle got in the end. I think that would have gone to Triple H, not Kurt Angle. Now you build to a title unification match in the main event of WrestleMania 18. Austin's got the WWF title. Triple H has the WCW title. Austin is the heel. So he goes into WrestleMania as the heel, Triple H goes in as the babyface, and he unifies both belts the exact way that he did with Chris Jericho. That's what would make the most sense to me when I look back on what the booking might have been. The only, the only guy that gets left out in the cold is Chris Jericho, because then he doesn't become undisputed champion, which he still crows about to this day, that he beat Austin and Rock in the same night. 